828 meters. That is the height of the record 150-story Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, the tallest construction ever built, the tallest building in the world. For those who have never seen such a grandiose structure, it is perhaps quite difficult to even imagine the entire scale of such an architectural masterpiece. However, this building is not at the limit of our capabilities. Try now to imagine a building whose windows open out into space, perhaps where the moon almost seems closer than the shopping center located next door. Perhaps we can go even a little further. Try to imagine a skyscraper with a billion floors. How one could actually bring this insane idea into the realm of reality, I'll tell you just a little later. Imagine how long it would take to ride an elevator to the very top of this thing. You might even kick the bucket from sheer boredom. I myself would spend this time usefully and with great pleasure by reading a book, for example, or by playing Raid Shadow Legends. Even if you're not a fan of mobile games, this most ambitious RPG project of the year will totally appeal to you. Raid has all the features you'd expect from a modern RPG. A fascinating plot, stunning 3D graphics, giant boss battles, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions that you can collect, assemble, and deck out just how you like. Just look at how well designed and detailed each and every champion is. But most important is that all of this awesome gameplay is completely free. Also, a special inaugural tournament with real and in-game prizes is taking place soon, so the quicker you start playing, the better your chances. There's also an exclusive super bonus for all of my valued subscribers. If you download the game right now from the link below, you'll get 50,000 silver and a free champion. You have a much better chance of winning in the tournament with all this great stuff, so get in there as soon as you can and see you on the battlefield. In the meantime, I want to introduce you to a giant structure. Although it won't have a billion floors, it will at least be the first step in the implementation of this crazy idea. This is the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid a 240-story tall project which is being actively developed by Japanese architects. In its design, it somewhat resembles the futuristic headquarters of the Tyrell Corporation from the much-beloved cult sci-fi film Blade Runner. The size of the structure will be 14 times larger than the pyramid at Cheops. It will consist of 204 smaller pyramid constructions, each of which is equal in area to the huge Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. Despite the greater number of floors, the Shimizu Pyramid will be slightly shorter than the Burj Khalifa, at just 730 meters. But it compensates for this with its impressive size in general and its ability to accommodate an astounding over one million people. Now, this project may seem a tad ambitious, but architects are already dreaming about even greater super constructions. You might ask, would it even be possible for anyone ever to create a super building with a billion floors? Of course, nothing prevents you from endlessly laying a brick on a brick on a brick, or mounting one section over another and so on. But the higher a building rises, the greater the headache it becomes for the builders. First of all, the force of the structure pushes down with ever greater pressure on itself the taller and therefore heavier it is. Meaning, if you don't create some kind of heavy-duty foundation, the upper part will become too massive for the lower to support and the entire structure will collapse, flattening into a pancake. According to the calculations of one of the creators of the Burj Khalifa, one William Baker, a skyscraper with a height of 8,849 meters, a little over 10 times the height of the Burj Khalifa, would need to be built on a base of approximately 4.1 thousand square kilometers. This height was chosen as it is one meter higher than the tallest mountain peak above sea level on the planet, and that is, of course, Mount Everest. The area at the base for such a structure would have to be about equal to the area of Polynesia. However, it is quite very much more than difficult 
to prepare a site of that kind for such a huge foundation. This is because for such a ginormous, bunion-esque foundation to be constructed, the area covered would most likely be spotted and crisscrossed by waterways and perhaps even contain mountains or valleys. If this normal-style foundation were abbreviated in the slightest, the building built atop it would fold like a house of cards. But William Baker proposes another possibility, building skyscrapers around a smaller, yet still powerful central core, which could then support numerous columns, which in turn support the building. In this way, the foundation could be significantly narrowed. If one were to construct a building using this pedestal method, and if one were to still use a base of 4,000 square kilometers in area, according to the Baker method, it can hypothetically rise to an astounding 59,000 meters in height or about six and two-thirds times taller than Mount Everest. That's approximately 10,000 floors, give or take a floor or two. True, even with a terrifically strong foundation, to build such a skyscraper would not be easy in any way, shape, or form. At that height, hurricane force winds are frequent and troublesome. They would blow against the sides of the structure and create powerful, and possibly deadly turbulence. They could rock the building back and forth during storms, making the structure somewhat dangerous to live in. In fact, the whole building could potentially be blown over. To avoid such difficulties, it's proposed that skyscrapers be built in a more streamlined fashion, so that they will be less damaged by whirlwinds, hurricanes, and tornadoes. A circular shape, an oval, a triangle, and even a rhombus with rounded corners have all been proposed, all of which would work better than a square. Also needed, super strong and highly resistant meta-materials. Perhaps the new and quite innovative transparent aluminum could be used. This amazing stuff is three times stronger than steel and see-through to boot. Or maybe nanomaterials, as some of them, according to scientists, are almost completely impossible to destroy. But even after having built an uber building from such exotic stuff, you'll still probably stress your noggin to the breaking point over the interminable problem of the elevators. Conventional elevators tend to occupy way too much space, and in such a super building, there would be almost no space left for anything but elevator shafts. However, the latest developments in the design and creation of super-compact and ultra-fast catapult elevators might save the day. There's also a promising idea regarding flying up and down on the exterior of the building using industrial-strength balloons. I'll believe it when I see it. But let's say the engineers are able to solve such problems and overcome the milestone of 10,000 floors. Now let us try to mentally climb higher and build a megascraper of 100,000 floors. The top of this architectural extravaganza will reach near Earth space. And suddenly it will be right in the middle of a microgravity dumping ground full of debris from space stations, probes, comets, and asteroids. Already, according to NASA estimates, about 170 million remnants of satellites rotate there, from tiny little specks to fairly large hunks and chunks of broken up machinery. And to top it off, the speed of many of these objects reaches a deadly 56,000 kilometers an hour, something like the speed of a bullet fired from a Kalashnikov assault rifle. Scientists are promising to have the area swept clean of debris in the near future. They have already tested something called the Remove Debris Device, a kind of high-technology space harpoon with a net, which during testing did manage to gather quite a good catch of space rubbish. And experts from the Surrey Space Center created a model of an orbital vacuum cleaner with a kind of sail capable, they say, of carrying out the general cleaning of all of near-Earth space. So then, theoretically anyway, we'll be able to continue building our super-duper ultra-skyscraper without fear that a hunk of satellite or wayward piece of leftover rocket will destroy the entire thing in an instant. 
So, if we put 100 mega scrapers, each with a height of 100,000 floors, on top of each other, then we get a mega mega building with 10 million floors. And then if we build another 100 of those mega mega buildings on top of each other, then finally, we'll have our Giga Scraper with a total of 1 billion floors. Alas, according to the calculations of specialists, there is barely enough material and energy in the entire world to fashion even half of such a Giga Scraper construction. For this, we need the resources of other celestial bodies. Judging by the rapid pace of development of science and technology, according to some forecasts, this will be doable in the coming centuries. At that time then, finally, perhaps, it will be possible to encapsulate a star with a swarm of energy-gathering satellites, whereupon we can consume as much energy as our hearts desire. The building materials could be borrowed from any research-rich nearby planets or asteroids. And finally, a skyscraper will appear with a billion floors, which, most likely, won't be just a building or even a city, but something like an entire world unto itself. It could be enveloped in a flexible shell filled with an artificial atmosphere and lit by the light of a man-made sun. Inside their different sectors, people will ride on supersonic elevators and between different sections on some type of aircraft or even spacecraft. But at the apex of our gigascraper will be the moon itself, and our lunar companion could even crash into our building if we aren't careful. So we'll have to protect our gigafloor building from our eternal nightlight with, say, a protective grid. Or we might even have to remove our satellite a bit from the Earth to some safe distance a tad farther away. Still, the main problem with our building will be its incredible price. It will probably cost hundreds of trillions of dollars, which is quite a lot. With this amount of money, we could alternatively give each inhabitant of the planet a lump sum payment in the millions of dollars, or even rent a fleet of dozens of huge spaceships. No one really wants super tall buildings if they have to pay for most of it out of their own pockets. But what if one day, say some global catastrophe, cataclysm or epidemic drove everyone to have to hide together in the same building? Let's see if our gigascraper could shelter all of humanity. Now on our planet, we have a population of about 7 billion 600 million people. According to some calculations, 10 people of average height and weight could stand on one square meter. So, a square with sides 28 kilometers long, giving it an area of 784 square kilometers, could accommodate the entire population of the Earth. This is just slightly larger than the total area of New York City. Many experts are quite confident that a building the size of a city could be built today. However, to fit everyone on Earth into this structure, they'd have to stand shoulder to shoulder and back to face with all of their neighbors. To live under such conditions is, of course, impossible. We don't want to be packed into such a building like sardines in a can or monkeys in a barrel. Your average person needs a space of at least 30 square meters to live anywhere near a normal lifestyle. It will need space to accommodate communications, common and ancillary facilities, and etc. Then, if we consider that roughly 500 people can be comfortably accommodated on one floor in a modern skyscraper, then a little more than 15 million of these will be needed for all the present inhabitants of the Earth. So then, with a billion floors, there'll be more than enough space for stadiums, parks, artificial lakes and ponds, recreation areas, and all the other various spaces you can think of. In time, if such a situation came to pass, we would even have enough room for a small alien civilization to move in with us, if need be. If you want to know more about the incredible buildings and amazing constructions of the future, don't miss a single one of our videos. Now move that mouse and give us a thumbs up. And be sure to click on the bell to turn on notifications about new episodes.
There's so much more interesting, exciting, and just plain fun stuff ahead. Coming soon to the Riddle Channel near you.